Hi guys. So today's video is going to be a book haul and it's a bunch of books that I got because one, it was Labor Day weekend. It is sort of kind of still Labor Day weekend in America and also it's my anniversary. My hubby and I have officially been married for three years as of today, the day that this video is being filmed and uploaded. So I'm pretty excited about it. I like him. And to celebrate our three year anniversary, we decided to take advantage of the fact that there's so many sales on Labor Day weekend and we kind of went book store hopping and I got a bunch of books. I will be doing another book haul here pretty soon that shows some other books I've purchased recently that weren't a part of the anniversary Labor Day weekend, but I'm just going to stick today with books that are from that. The first book I got is one that I've had my eye on for so long, but I never see it on sale at my local used bookstores. I never really want to spend the full price for it. So when I saw it on sale, I got super, super excited and that would be the Vagrant. I don't know a ton about this book, but I think the synopsis on the back sounds really intriguing. It's very vague, but it definitely piqued my interest. Basically, this guy is trying to reach this city and it says at the bottom that the Shining City is far away and the world is a very dangerous place. So I don't know. I just feel like it doesn't tell you a lot, but that seems super intriguing to me. Next, I got the book uh, Stormfront, which is the first book in the Dresden Files series. I have already read this book. I read the first few in the Dresden Files series, but I kind of had the first couple in the wrong size, so then I've been returning them, not returning them, but I've been turning them in for store credit at my local used bookstores and just kind of getting the ones in the correct size when I can find them. And I finally found this one and it was so cheap because it's already used and it was much less money because of that. And then on top of that, there was a sale. So it was really inexpensive. All the rest of the books I got are actually young adult. You're not a fan of young adult, sorry, but I was super excited about some of the ones that I found. The first two being the second and the third books in the And I Darken series. I read the first one recently and I actually really, really enjoyed it. It is a historical fiction gender swap about Vlad the Impaler, but Vlad the Impaler the gender swap, so it's a girl. And I really enjoyed the first one. I don't get to read very much historical fiction very often, just because I don't. It's not like I don't get to because somebody's stopping me. I just tend to almost always pick up fantasy and I was really excited because my friend Deshauna's birthday was this last month and I asked her you know, let me know what book you want me to read for your birthday. And she's like, you should read And I Darken. I love it. And so I did, and I liked it a lot too. And then I found the second and the third ones on sale, and I was so excited about it. Next up, I found the book Language of Thorns by Lee Bardugo. This is a collection of short stories that are supposed to kind of be in the world of her Grisha verse. And I'm not usually a big short story person, and I like her books, but I just didn't know if I was really... I, I was interested in it, but I was always kind of like, oh, maybe if I find it on sale one day. And I did, and I was flipping through it, and I didn't realize that there's kind of sort of illustrations and stuff in it. And depending on the maturity level of the short stories, I have a couple of nieces, and they're really little right now, but I really love the idea that there's these kind of grim fairy tale like stories that I can maybe read to them someday. So I don't know. I just, when I was thinking of it in that way, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna get this. I've heard good things, and it's also very pretty. Also, I just realized I said I'm excited to read them grim fairy tales. Not regular fairy tales, grim fairy tales. Ah, it's okay. My sister will totally be down for it because I feel like she's kind of into that stuff too. Next up is the book Love and Luck by Jenna Welch. I really enjoyed Love and Gelato, and then I let one of my private violin students borrow it, and she loved it. She ran out and bought this one, and then she let me borrow this one, and I thought it was equally cutesy. It is very different from what I normally read. It is basically a chick flick on pages. I mean, it's so kind of cheesy and cute and adorable. And I don't know, I normally read such epic, awesome stories with really cool magic systems and people like with swords and killing each other and stuff. So, you know, reading books about love. I don't know. It's just, it's a nice little refreshing. It, it makes you think about when you were young and like getting over heartbreak or falling in love or whatever. Next up, I have The Hazelwood by Melissa Albert. And I don't know, this book just sounds really intriguing. I feel like this is a book that I have seen pictures of all over the place because it's very pretty. And I'm sure it's very photogenic of a book, but the, the synopsis, I didn't really know much about. And so I read the synopsis and I'm like, that actually sounds really interesting. And it follows this girl whose grandmother dies on her estate called The Hazelwood. 
and the girl goes there her grandmother was an author and then suddenly when she goes to this estate her mother is taken and there's this mysterious person claiming to be from the stories that her grandmother wrote and now the main character has to band together with a couple of people that were basically super fans of her grandmother's work to help figure out what happened to her mother try to get her mother back the last book i got for our anniversary book shopping Labor Day weekend would be Ash Princess. First off, this has nothing to do with the synopsis, but I'm a big fan of this style of cover. I feel like it's being done quite a bit now, and I'm pretty okay with it. But more importantly, I actually think this book sounds amazing. I've had some of you tell me, hey, you should go check out this book. It's awesome. And so I've had this book on a list in my phone of books that I try to look for every time I go into my local used bookstores and I always see it and I get excited but then it's not on sale and I'm like hmm. and then when I saw it for really cheap I freaked out I was like do you guys have that reaction too sometimes when you see books on sale that you've been wanting it's just so I don't know it's a nice little moment the synopsis though oh man I just think it sounds so good I'm not gonna lie I'm a huge fan of the royalty trope anytime there's royalty in books I'm always interested and I especially love when somebody has to get their kingdom back and in this one it starts out with our main characters home having been taken by this guy that sounds pretty awful and her mother was killed in front of her and she has to have the title of Ash Princess kind of mockingly and they kind of keep her captive in her own her own home for years and then they make her do something really terrible and then she realizes that she not only has to survive but now she has to actually do something anyway that's it for my anniversary book haul like i said i have another book haul coming here pretty soon of books that i got before my anniversary came around but anyway let me know if you guys have read any of these books let me know if you're fans of any of them if you hate any of them but anyway thanks so much for watching happy reading and i'll see you all later bye